Hello and welcome to My Little Pony Equestria Girls. You want to interview us for the school paper? That's right. But we haven't done anything special, have we? I mean, we're just friends. That's just it. We want to profile a group of such good friends. Our readers want to know how you five met. What made you become friends? Oh, that's easy. We became friends at the freshman fair. Or, well, we met at the fair. We weren't really friends for a while. None of us really knew what kind of person we were yet, you know? It's kind of a long story, but it definitely starts at the fair. Then let's start there, okay? I already knew Fluttershy from Cloudsdale Junior High, so we went to the fair together. Do you see the soccer team booth yet, Fluttershy? Um, sorry, not yet. Hey, while we're looking, maybe we'll find a club for you. Oh, um, maybe? I guess they've got clubs for everything. Oh, gardening club? When do y'all meet? Uh, Thursdays after school. Thanks, I'll see you gals there. Y'all gals. Oh my gosh, is she for real? Gosh, look at all these activities. I should find out what Babs and Sunny do after school. <laughs> Oh my, are you alright? I'm so sorry. I was just standing there, not paying attention. Nah, it's my fault. I wasn't watching. Terribly sorry about that. Um... Applejack. No worries. Rarity. And I'm Pinkie Pie! Whoa! Pinkie Pie was in the middle of suggesting activities when you bumped into me. Ooh, you're looking at the gardening club? They throw some kickin' parties. Oh, you remember? Nope. I'm just helping people find clubs. Oh, sports! I bet you'd be great at sports. Where's the soccer booth? Uh, thanks, Pinky, but I think... This way! Whoa, Nelly! We didn't know each other at first. And we had a lot to learn about ourselves. Not to mention learning what we want to be. But that's how it all began. That's how we became friends. So, were you looking forward to the first day of class? Well, I certainly was. I had a splendid new outfit I wanted to show off. Who's that? Well, looking good. But I know not everyone was so optimistic. Fluttershy? Oh, um, yes. We met at the fair, didn't we? Oh, um, that's right. Hello, Rarity. Hey now, I know you two. Rarity and Fluttershy, am I right? Um, close enough. Whew, I sure am grateful for a couple of familiar faces in my homeroom. That's... Quite an interesting outfit you've got, Applejack. These duds? Shucks, I just tossed them on this morning. Would've worn my galoshes, but it ain't supposed to rain today. Shoot, Ooh. and I brought my umbrella for nothing. Ooh, now there's a hairdo I recognize. Howdy, Fumbershy. It's, um... <laughs> Safe. You're not late to get in the head of the teacher, right, Mrs. Harshwinny? Well, you're not late yet, but the day's still young. All right, everybody, settle down. I'm Harshwini, and some of you might also have me for social studies. Let's start by taking attendance. My first day, I already knew what I wanted to do in high school. I was looking ahead to the soccer tryouts after school. I don't think I heard a single thing in class. All I cared about back then was making the team. Fortunately, hey, uh, I had people who cared about me. Mind if I join you for lunch? Yeah, sure. So what's your story, AJ? Me? Ain't much to tell, really. Just your average country gal looking forward to a whole new school. Yeah, no offense, but you might want to think about changing your style. What do you mean? Well, the outfit, the accent, the hair. You just kinda come off as a hayseed. Sorry, but it's true. Oh, hey, there's fire over here! Well, howdy, youngin. How's your first day of school so far? Uh, just fine, Granny, thanks. Now, much as I wanted to make friends, I also wanted to get in touch with my relatives. I had two cousins at Candlelight High. Babs! Sunny! And I was looking forward to getting to know them. Howdy, Babs. Howdy, Sunflower. It's me, Applejack. Shoot, I ain't seen you in years. Hey, you cuz, how you been? Sunny and me have been looking forward to meeting you. We're like always on the lookout for new friends. We're like actually just getting to know one of your classmates. Have you met Rarity? Well, actually, I made it myself. Thank you. Oh, Applejack! We do seem to keep bumping into each other, don't we? Guess so. So, how are you, uh... You know, Applejack, why don't we, like, catch up after school? It's so crowded here, it's, like, hard to talk. Sure, I guess. Oh, do stay for a bit, Applejack. I'm sure we can make room. 
Willa. No, it's okay. Applejack can be like with her other friends right now. I don't... Listen, why don't we just... Um, sorry, I... Oh, darling, your clothes. Here, let's find you something else to wear. So, uh, how about that lunch? Listen, AJ. Can I call you AJ? I know this is like your first day and you're like still learning things. But you're like not really a Canterlot High girl, you know? I think you like need to update yourself a little. Like my clothes? Your clothes, your hair, your accent, your walk. Oh, and like definitely get rid of that hat. You mean hats ain't cool? Look, AJ, you're just not like there yet. If you want to stay where you are, that's like fine. But if you want to have a place here, like if you want to be on top, like you've got some choices to make. My lock is right over here. Oh no, it's okay. I think I have something in your size. Really, it's not a problem. I don't mean to be a... Bother. Oh, it's no bother at all. I'd hate to see you looking... Well, like that the rest of the day. Besides, a change of outfit can do wonders for one's outlook. I think this one looks better, don't you? Here, try this on. Thank you so much, Rarity. This is so kind of you. Nonsense. We all need a little kindness every now and then. What Rarity said was so important, even if I didn't realize it at the time. I was still looking for that last missing piece, a part of me that I didn't even know about. In the meantime, though, I was still trying to get through my first day. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a very shy person. I couldn't tell. Oh yes, especially back then. So it was hard for me, even with my new friends. But I was already looking forward to that afternoon. Rainbow Dash was going to try out for the soccer team. And as a loyal friend, I wanted to be there. Well, looky what we've got here. You all want to be Wonder Cults, huh? Well, let's see what you've got. You impressed yet? Oh, you were so great, Rainbow. You'll get on the team for sure. Was there ever any doubt? I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. And no, I'm just like waiting for Babs to finish the stupid rugby tryouts. This year's freshmen are like, so lame. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I can't like believe we were ever that bad. And their fashion choices, ugh. Um, excuse me? And they're such pests. Always, like, butting in my calls and asking me stuff. Like, go away. Like, what a pain. So, like, anyway, get this. And so, our heroes went to bed after their first day of school. Some were worried. Some were brimming with confidence. Some were just looking forward to what the coming year might bring. Some were thinking about the choices they'd have to make. And some were... Uh, excuse me? You don't have to narrate. I'll write the article myself. Let's just focus on you for now. Did you try any clubs? Actually, I tried them all. Please join. Your backhand is amazing. We need more players like you. Hmm, nah. Pinky, you are one swinging cat. Won't you stick around and have a jazz club jam? Mm, no. Oh, Pinky, you're a natural knitter. I didn't know it was possible to knit a skateboard. Oh, please join the club. Um, nope. You didn't join any clubs? Why not? Well, let me ask you this. Why did you start writing for the newspaper? Me? I, I thought it would be fun to write for a newspaper. Exactly! Fun! All those clubs were fun for me, but what about everyone else? How could I help everyone else have fun? It was a tough problem, and I was still thinking about it the next day. Hmm... Morning, Pinky. Uh, morning, Pinky. What are you thinking about? Everything. That's a lot to think about. Yeah, I know, but there's so much going on, I have to think about it all. Like Rarity's sweater, and my clubs, and Fluttershy's hair, and Rainbow Dash's feet, and why they call them fingers when they don't fing anything, and whether chickens can dance, and your hat! Uh, my hat? What about it? You're not wearing it! Uh, that's right. Any particular reason? Um, no, I mean, I just didn't, um... Are you perhaps not wearing it so that you seem cooler? Uh, no, I, I mean, yes! Yes, I'm not wearing it so I don't, um, uh... Hey there, Fluttershy! How are you doing this morning? <laughs> oh, um, I... I'm fine, Applejack. 
Thank you. Is Rarity here yet? I still have her shirt. I don't think so. Oh, um, okay. Well, if you see her... It's caught on the way back in, you know. Um, Rarity, thank you so very much for... <laughs> Did you give it to her? I, um, I think I'll wait until lunch. Good morning, everybody. Take your seats. First, the paper's looking for more help. And lastly, players have been picked for all the sports teams. I made it! I made it! I mean, of course I made it. So you're on the team, huh? Yep. I can't wait to show off my moves. Just think, a whole crowd, an entire stadium, all cheering for me. And the rest of the team too, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I guess they'll get some applause too. You know you're not the only player on the team, Rainbow Dash. You're getting an awful swelled head. Maybe I'm not the only player, but I'm definitely the best. We don't even need a team with me around. Well, when you're on the field, carefully don't trip over your ego. Don't worry, I'm the fastest thing on two legs. Rarity? Rarity? Where did you, like, get those shoes, Rarity? Oh, it's this delightful little... Did someone say my name? I didn't hear nothing. So about those shoes? I really can't thank you two enough for taking me under your wing. I'm glad to be part of such a close group of friends. Well, you're like, clearly someone worth knowing, Rarity. Yeah, you're one of a kind. Is it any wonder we want to keep you all to ourselves? Well, it's awfully kind of you, and I'm sure Applejack appreciates your help too. Uh, about Cousin Applejack? I don't like think we need to... Oh, speaking of Applejack... Applejack, over here! Hey gang, how y'all... Uh, how's everybody doing? I know... Uh, I know yesterday I kinda came off as a hayseed. So today I put on my best duds, left my hat at home, and I'm trying for a new attitude. Yes sir, it's a whole new Applejack. Uh, AJ, so what do you think? Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Listen, cousin, I, like, know you want to be part of our world, but we're not a charity. I suggest you, like, find some friends you're a little more suited for. Don't, like, aim too high, you know? Um, Rarity, thanks again for the shirt. Oh, it was nothing, dear, and it looks lovely on you. Would you like to join us? Nah, she can't. We don't make friends with losers. It's not our scene, you know. What? I, um... What are you saying? I'm saying get lost, new girl! Take off! Skedaddle! You're not our friend! Just stop embarrassing yourself. That's what I'm saying. Like, Babs is right, Mumbleshy. Find some other friends. Uh... What's that, Applejack? You got something to say? No. Never mind. But... how oh good. <laughs> So, time passed, and we all drifted a bit further apart. You really don't have to narrate, Pinky. Oh, right. And the fairy tea time thing never actually happened. That was a, a hard time. For all of us. It was only a month or so, but... It's like, we were all missing something. Or not missing, but... It was something we already had, but didn't know it. But I know the day we found it. The first game of the season. Against the Shadow Bolts. Attention! Alright, Wonder Colts, we got us a game to play! It's not for a trophy. It's not the most important game of your life. But it is our first game as Wonder Colts! And I expect all of us to act like Wonder Colts! You hear me, team? We, we hear, hear you, ma'am. And play like a team out there. You could have asked me earlier, Miss Pie. But I only had the idea last night and I spent all night making them with Rarity. Still, it's awfully short notice. I know, I know, I know. But the school needs this. We all need this. I've just been looking for something for so long and I just know that this is it. Please? Fine, but after the game, you, me, and Principal Celestia will talk about what comes next. 
and you'll need volunteers. Hey, Fluttershy! Mm. Uh, Pinky, how are you? Uh, no time! I finally found it! I found my true calling and my purpose and the thing that's going to bring us together again! Here, take this and follow me! <laughs> Here you go! But wait for the signal! Man, why don't we get crowds like this at the rugby games? The ones in blue are like our team, right? Um, excuse me. I wanted to talk to you about your, your dog. I'm sorry, are you like talking to me? Yes, I know you don't like me, but I think your dog is sick and I want to help. Oh, okay, thanks. I'm really glad for your totally unnecessary advice. You freshman girls, you're like so weak. You all want to be something you're not. You like can't even- Sunflower, that is enough. Fluttershy is trying to show you an act of great kindness and you're attacking her. You've got some nerve treating her, treating us like this. You and Babs are beating a couple of bullies. I don't know why I ever want to be friends with a couple of two-faced snobs. Why you're nothing but ungrateful wretches. And bitches. Yeah, and bitches. Fluttershy, how can we help? Come on, Pinky wants me to hand these out. Huh? Uh? Come on, Rainbow Dash! What team are you playing for? <gasps> okay, everybody. What are we? What are we? Oh, wow. All right, let's do this. And well, that was it. Like Spitfire said, it wasn't the most important game, but it meant a lot to me and my team. I was proud to be a loyal Wonder Cult. I'm not proud of the way I acted, but I am proud of what I learned. I'd like to think I'm a more honest person now, and I never shy away from expressing my true feelings. When I think of how I treated the people I consider my friends, well, I'm furious at myself. Friendship is something to be given away generously not jealously hoarded. I knew I could make people laugh before I came to this school, but it took me a while to realize that laughter can bring people together like nothing else. That was definitely the toughest time of my life, but I learned something valuable. Everybody deserves kindness. You know, it sounds weird, but somehow I feel like we were already friends, long before we even met. Like it was something already inside us just waiting to come out. Like this, whoosh! And all it took was... a spark. Well, thank you again, Sunset. I hope you got enough for your story. Believe me, I've got everything I need to know about you. And this concludes Equestria Girls. Until next time...